In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to import a sequence into Xlights. So I've just downloaded a sequence here, which is a Mr. Grinch sequence. Now, the first thing you must confirm is that the zip in question is not password protected in any way. Uh, if it is password protected, what I suggest you do is unzip it and remove the password and then rezip it. So you end up with a zip like this. Now, some sequences will come with the audio track in, in which case just pull the audio track out and put it alongside. If not, then you must download the appropriate audio track. Now, what I suggest you do before you even start importing the sequence is if possible, watch a video of the sequence and look at the props that are used and maybe jot down on a piece of paper how you're going to map those props to your layout. But all that being said, let's go with the actual procedure. So the first thing we need to do is take this audio track and wherever you store your audio files in your show folder, just copy that to there. So I copy mine in my show folder in a folder called audio files. So I'll just copy that into there. Now, all I need to do is open X lights. Be a little bit patient. Okay. Now go to the sequencer. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sequence by clicking on this yellow icon. And it's going to be a musical sequence. And now we must go to the audio track that we just copied. So uh, it was You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Choose the frames per second that you like and done. Now you have a sequence with all of your models and the audio track. Now all we need to do is click on import effects, go to the location of the zip file, in this case you're a mean one Mr. Grinch, and click open. We now see all of the props that was on the original and all we need to do now is either drag and drop to the appropriate location. So we've got all, so I'll put this onto my thing called everything, or you can actually select and double click. So this is all archers, so I can double click all archers. All circles, so I'm going to think that's gonna be spinners. So I'm going to put that onto all, all spinners in this case. Uh, all spiral trees, I don't have spiral trees, but I do have a, have a palm tree that's like a spiral tree. So I'm going to put it there. Uh, and I'm not going to go through all of it. I'll just do enough just to show you. So I'll just do a mega tree. So my tree mega here. So there's a mega tree and a mega tree star. Now you would go through all of these and there would be some items that, you know, you just, you know, you may not have as many props, but also what you could do, you, if you had more props, you could double up. So if you had this snowflake here and, you know, and you only had, you know, there was 10 snowflakes, but, you know, you could put multiple effects onto your snowflakes. Now, what I suggest you do, once you've done this, if you want to save the mapping, it will save where you put those uh, props. So you could just give it a name. I'll just call it XX for now. And now if you don't like the mapping later, you'll be able to come back to it and remove things and put new effects on. But all we need to do now is click OK. And you see, although I only imported a few of the effects, I just click the render button. And then if I bring on, I've got the audio turned off, so you won't hear the audio uh, for copyright reasons. And it's as simple as, you know, 
There you go, we have imported the sequence on just the few props that I specified there. And it's as simple as that. So until next time, enjoy.